could say this project bubbled to the top. It's the new way, the new thing, the new approach to Easter egg dyeing that caught our eye this year. So today as we continue our Easter extravaganza, we do so with a bit of a science experiment. A chemical reaction makes magic happen and the result is a perfectly marbled Easter egg. Kelly Oster is joining us from her home in Cincinnati, Ohio to share this method that will have your kids giddy with wonder as they see the results right in front of their eyes. Kelly, welcome to Studio 5. Thanks for jumping in virtually, I should say. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. We saw your technique and knew we wanted to add it to our Easter extravaganza this week. So tell us about the process. Okay, so yeah, it's you're mixing art with science, which is so much fun for kids, and I have so much fun with it too, I must say. So you're mixing baking soda with vinegar to create this fizzy reaction, and it makes a marbleized effect on the eggs, giving you this tie-dye look. So it's a fun activity, but you also end up with amazing looking eggs. And a really, yeah, a really fun time. The giggles, I can hear the yes. whispers. I mean, that's happening right in front of you. That's always a fun <laughs> reaction. So you mentioned the vinegar and the baking soda. What other supplies do we need? Yeah, so you'll need um, baking soda, vinegar, just water, and the vinegar is white distilled vinegar. Um, some kind of cup or measuring cup to pour the vinegar. Um, paint brushes, stirring sticks, and food dye. And then also my magic hack is to use a muffin tin. Smart. The muffin tin kind of gives you like a contained mess. That's so a, it helps a little bit. <laughs> that's a mom that knows. <laughs> to that we yes. say thank you very much. Now the egg paint, how are you making that, the color? Right, so you'll use um, one tablespoon of baking soda. You pour it in a muffin tin or cups. You can use cups. A half a teaspoon of water. And then you stir it up, you add your um, food dye. I like to use like three to five drops of food dye. You want a nice bold color, thick consistency, and that is how you um, create the pink. So, so you're mixing that before here. you do any fizz whatsoever. That's just your color solution. Yes, yes, that is just your color solution. Okay, and then what? And then after that, so you'll just let your kids go wild um, and then paint the eggs. So you just dip your paintbrushes in this new paste that you made and paint the eggs just like this. Um, and if you want, you can even just have your kids leave it in here, not even touch the egg, but you know. Once again, that's, a, that's a mom that knows, but that's a, that's a tall order to not touch the egg, right? Yes, it is, it is. So you might end up with a little bit of a mess, but that's okay, childhood is messy. And blending the colors is what makes that fun kind of rainbow tie-dye effect in the end? Yes, so actually what happens is then you add, this is the fun part, you add your vinegar. Okay. Um, I, if you have a syringe, that's great. You can draw it up into a syringe, but I use medicine cups. I had some extra ones um, or just any cup. But you're gonna pour it over top of your eggs and this creates the marbleized effect. All the colors run together and cause the tie dye. So we're just gonna pour some vinegar over top. Just little drops work, but we did go kind of crazy and you just see it bubble up. My four-year-old, his little fists went in the air, and he said, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> uh, so it was, and you'll be dying eggs probably well throughout Easter, so. <laughs> this sort of feels, I mean, I know we were joking about the mess, but it sort of feels more contained than regular Easter egg dye, I think. And the, yes. the bubbles, they yes. are so fun. I echo your four-year-old. This is the coolest thing ever. This is so much fun to watch. Almost right. mesmerizing, I right? the coolest thing is I think that you, you don't have to wait. There's no waiting. Kids don't uh -huh. like to wait. You don't let it soak in the dye. It's all instant. We will absolutely be trying this at my house, yeah. and my own four-year-old better have her arms in the air as well. That's so fun. Yeah. Kelly, where can we sh see more ideas from you, more projects from you? Yeah, I share most on Instagram. I am on TikTok. It's kelly.oster, so K-E-L-L-Y, period, O-E-S-T-E-R. I share just fun, simple, budget-friendly things. I'm a mom of three boys, so, you know, I like to keep it simple and in the budget. <laughs> well, thank you for that inspiration. I'm excited to give you a follow, and we'll post her information on our website if you want to link over. But the fizzy Easter eggs, we're feeling it this year for Easter 2024. The fun way to get that marbled sort of tie-dye effect.